Hi guys, it's me Karen and welcome back to my channel. I just thought I would stop by and do a cute little picture in Jim, Tim Jeff's coloring book, volume number five. And I picked a picture out that I'm going to do with some distress inks. <laughs> then I'll go over it with some pencils to give it some texture. But it is going to be uh, a little it's going to be a baby emu, this little guy here. I think he's rather cute. <laughs> so I picked out colors that uh, would go along with him. The texture will go into his uh, white feathers here. The darker parts of his um, feathers are kind of in the tones of brown and beige-ish colors all mixed together with some black when they're babies they look like this and when they get older the stripes all disappear into their long feathers and they get a little more detail around their faces and their necks and uh, I think the beak stays the same color as they get older which is kind of a <laughs> same color as he is <laughs> it's got a little more brown or dark dark gray in his beak but uh, the top up here is a little lighter and then he's got like these little teeny tiny spots that come up here. That's just, he's just cute. So I thought I'd do him. So what I'm going to do is get uh, something out to get the distress ink on the page. And I'll uh, find some pencils that I can use to um, help out his feathers a little bit. And I'll also get the camera angled right. So hold on a minute. Okay. Well, what I got out, um, a whole bunch of the distress inks. Like I said, I brought out. Black Widow pencils. I'm kind of doing a rearrangement of my um, desk area. So I've got all my pencils out along with the fact that I was gifted a beautiful um, book by a very special person. And I've been swatching all my pencils out <laughs> in that book. So I have every set out kind of on a um, certain area of my room now because I'll be moving them into a different um, location, I should say. I don't know. I have my desk set up in my bedroom, and I'm very fortunate to have a very large bedroom. So an L-shaped desk has been in the corner, and you barely notice it. But um, it's not as big as you would think. <laughs> How do you even say that? It's an L-shaped desk, and there's a whole side of it that is like, 70 inches but it's got a shelf in it and that's where I had my TV my printer and uh, a whole bunch of little items and then I'd put my pencils over on that side and then the desk part that I work on here is only like a 24 maybe 48 inches it's really not very big so all the pencils have to stay over here on the side or and I don't have any room anywhere else on this little portion of the desk so I've decided <laughs> that I'm going to change that and take the L-shaped desk out of my bedroom and put in a very nice huge desk along this side of the wall, which will all be for coloring. And then where the long end of that L shape is, I'm putting in a um, bookcase type item that will hold all my pencils and all my art supplies inks and everything in it so then i'll have this whole area here to put my pencils instead of over on the side when i'm coloring like you needed to know that but i'm going to tell you because um today is probably going to be the last video i do for the month and hopefully i will be back in a week because i need to take a week off to take everything out of here organize put all the new stuff in um, I also have to build the whole thing, so <laughs> it's going to take some time. <laughs> anyway, we're going to start uh, with the pencil works after we do the inks, but I'm going to tell you which ones I've got. So I have this Sco uh, Cobra Mustard. I have the Skin Dark, and it's leather, Cobra Chestnut, and then the Scorpion Brown Bug. And these should be nice brown 
tones to go on the brown ink that I'm going to be putting down. In my uh, Distress Inks, I have Walnut Stain, which is a really dark, dark color that we will be putting on last. I have the aged or vintage photo, which is a reddish brown that it has just a tiny touch of. I have antique linen and pumice stone, which every one of these is not the green tone, is the one I'm going to use. <laughs> and uh, then I have gathered twigs, which is a light uh, brown, the lightest one they have in the brown sections. And then just for a contrast, I know the scattered straw is a great uh, kind of yellowish color for like his underbelly down here. Okay, so we're going to start off with the lightest color, which is going to be our scattered straw. Then I'm going to test these two because I haven't used them in a while and really don't know what color they are. Um, I usually will put a little sticky note and put ink on it. So when I store them, I store them upside down in a case and I can read that. But um, see, this one's kind of got one. It's got kind of a gray color and I don't know if I'm crazy about that, but this one doesn't have one. So I must have bought it after I did all that and I'm going to swatch it so I know what color it is. And oh, that does look green, doesn't it? I'm going to swatch it. Just put it down. And yeah, that is green. So we're going to swatch this one and double check and see what color. Ah! That might be good for his beak though. We'll keep that. That one, no. <laughs> Antique linen is out. All right. Pencils, this is the other reason. I have to keep everything really tight here and ugh, starting to drive me nuts. I have these little uh, tools. Uh, I use them. Do I recommend you go out and buy them? No, they're not the best. <laughs> but I bought them and I'm going to use them until they fall apart. It is a like a wooden dowel with a tiny little sponge on here. The glue that holds these sponges on is not the best. I don't know how why they designed them like that, but um, the inks are water soluble. They're also wet and the glue that they put on here. I mean, these little things fall off all the time and I'm having to stick them back down. It has something to do with it's not as tacky as it should be or something because once you get them wet, they just fall off. I'm going to use them though because we've got tiny stripes and I need to get into those tiny stripes. So as much as I'm not crazy about them, I use them a lot. Yeah, go figure. Okay, scattered straw. And pick one up. You can, there's again, you can wash these, but you're putting more water on them, probably affecting that glue down there. So I just wipe them off until that color comes out. Uh, let's see, this one's a brown so we're gonna go in here and you pick up a little of that and just kind of run this color right around there kind of go down to the feet area they also don't hold very much ink but I mean I don't need too much in here and we're gonna go down the legs Kind of right up the toe and up the little leg there. Get the top of the toes. There we go. Already looking cute. And we're going to put a little of this up in his face area up here. around his eyes, make those nice and bright, okay, it's really not much of this color on him, 
we can put a little maybe just around each of these darker stripes so that'll be a blend color there okay Then we'll go in with the gathered twigs. I'm going to use the same little tool. And we're going to go where the stripe is this time. How are you all doing? Our weather is changing, so we're getting down in the 30s at night. Make sure we took all our hoses off the faucets, put those away, winterizing the outside. Just kind of going in between his toes with this color just to darken them up. And anywhere it's dark down here. The back toe back there. Okay, and we're going to put a tiny bit of this on his beak. It's just to start that graying process. Now we're going into the vintage photo. Getting a little red tones in there. Just going to add a little more darkness over on this side. Just because it would flop down a little bit more there. I'm going to put a little up here too where those little lines are. And a bit more up in his face there. Okay. Now we're going to go into the walnut stain which is even darker our darkest brown tone we have and in the darkest areas I'm going to stick some of that going to stick a little of this um, what is this called pumice stone in his beak I don't know if I want the brown in that so let's go with this one test it out this is a real juicy little pad here I probably don't use it much so we're just sticking it like where his nostril is and bringing it down, putting it on the tip just to make his beak dark. We're also going to go in there with a white pencil and lighten some areas up. 
I'm going to go around his eye here a little bit. And throw a little of that down in here on his legs too. Garbage guy is outside pumping around if you hear that. <laughs> okay. I think that's as much ink as we're going to put down there. So we have the Prisma White, which I'm going to flick around on top of that, but we're going to use the other pencils first. And I am going to sharpen this one up just to make sure we have a nice sharp point on it to flick around longer feathers. So we're going to go in with the um, Chestnut, which is the Cobra color. Sorry, my computer keeps making noise and we're just going to go across these feathers and just use the um, sharpest point so I'm going to keep turning the pencil and flick some of this color downward and upward so we get a nice fluffing of the feathers here. There's nothing like doing a video and have all the work going on outside. I just wanted to brighten up some of these by putting a little red tone in there. So I have a, a J outside screeching. <laughs> yeah. Pull these up upward and pull these downward so you get the same look. Then we'll go in with the um, brown bug. <laughs> I got really interesting names. We'll go over the red that we just put down. Tone it down a little bit. Doing the same thing. Just fluffing that brown up. It's kind of a purple color. I'll have to get a darker brown out. So we're just going to go around it. He's got the feathers going in the right direction. We have mustard and I'm going to bring in dark chocolate. We'll see what that one looks like. It should be a nice dark brown. Okay, I have to get down a little closer to see these little lines. Don't want to make it too big, but we are going over this with the, the white. So I'll show you. When we come back over with the white, we'll be bringing that white right over all those lines I'm doing. Because these are his feathers on this line. 
So we want to get all those colors in there. So when I put the white on top, they'll show a little bit, but they won't be too bright. And then if they are uh, too red or anything, we'll just come back in with the uh, gathered twigs and go over them a little bit like that. So that's how I'm going to just keep going around here. What pencil did I just have? The dark chocolate. And if the light gets too much, that's what it looks like without the light on there. So we're just going to go around and do that on all these feathers. So you kind of get the gist of what I'm doing down here. So I'm going to work on his face a little bit. I'm going to go on the dark, darken up his eyes here, beak area, really entertaining, huh? <laughs> Teeny little lines. Then we'll pull in the white. Do teeny little lines with the white, too. <laughs> We're also going to go up here on the beak. some work here. Does it come to a point? Kind of hard to tell. But then we brought his beak back out like that. Gonna fluff up this up here. Bring some of those out into the black a little bit more.
Then we're going to add a little more. Chestnut. Skip that one. This one will work. This is leather. I'm just going to knock that white back a little bit. really got red under here so there's a lot of blue on the end of this eraser <laughs> I'm gonna erase some of that right in here because I think it got a little too red I didn't want him to get that red okay so we're gonna see if we can take some of that out with this I'm going to turn this uh, light down a little bit too so I can see what I'm doing here. out pretty good. Oh, excuse me. Okay, the doorbell rang so I had to run down and get a package which I will show you later in another video. Okay, so I've erased a bunch of this. I'm going to bring in a black because I have to do his little eye here. Hopefully that's sharp enough. So you want to do this black. You can either go over the um, little dots there and put your own dots in. Or you can try to color around them. Your choice. But I want to make that nice and dark. And we have one on this other side here too. And then like his nose here, we want to darken that up and the tip there, probably a tip there. Then we're going to go in with some Posca and put the highlights back in his eyes. I just wanted to make sure I got that done so I don't forget. You can also use um, the black to go over. some of this and add in some lines. If you want to even get his neck to turn just a bit more, you can add some up here. Go over the white if you don't like what you did there. You know, all sorts of stuff you can do here. We just want him to look like a fluffy little baby.
I'm just going to go down and around this back side here. So I'm going to turn it a little bit, try to stay in camera. So I want to take that all the way down his back here. And I'm turning the pencil in my fingers so we can get that sharp edge going all the way down. Sorry. <laughs> Just playing with the lines. There we go. Now we're going to play around with his legs a little here. We want that area a little darker. So you bring those little lines up in here. Just lightly shadow that down. We're going to make sure that this leg sits in front of this leg, so we're going to darken that up a little bit. And then you want the bottom of the feet darker than the top. You can see that, right? <laughs> I hope. some fluff coming down here. I think we're just about done with them. bit of oh, a blue, really dark blue. What are you? You're a coral green. That's not good. You're in forest, so you must all be. Zephyr blue. What is a zephyr blue? Zephyr blue is a nice dark blue. We're going to add just a little coming down here. Do much on the other side there. A little in the eye. Okay, a little Posca. I 
think that's how he had it. I don't like that one, so I'm going to get rid of that. I'm just going back in there with the black. I'm going to get rid of it. It's a nice thing about Posca Pen. I'm going to put it down here a little bit. All right. This is still bugging me a bit, so I'm just going to add some the leather. I like how that color worked out in here. In here a little bit. Kind of soften those lines up a little. Can go down his feet. Put that light back on. <laughs> Sorry about that. Gonna do his toenails with this. And just kind of lightly go over these areas. There we go. I think he was looking really cute. Sorry, trying to find my brush. <laughs> there. Other than a little mess up there that I'm not crazy about, I can try to erase that a little bit more. Anything else up here? There. Just gave him a double look there. Gotta put a little Posca in the other eye. Just so it's there. I'm gonna get it a little blacker there. There we go. 
just going to darken his little feet up a tiny bit. Darken, color them in so they don't look white on the tips of that. We're going to do that with the um, scattered straw. Trying to find a pad that has kind of a yellow tone to it. I don't know if I have one over here. And hopefully I'm not wiggling the camera all over the place. I've got green. Oh, this one will work. It's brown. I'm just going to hold it in my finger. I'm going to fold it in half. I <laughs> Finishing a picture, I don't need to be doing too much. I just ink that little tiny portion there. Then I'm just going to tap it on those toes. So we have a little color on them. I'm going to go up and touch it in some other areas too. So just play with it until you like the tone that's all over your birdie. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to call it. <laughs> so there is our little guy all finished. Lights on and then I will let's see. Turn the lights off and you can see him. Boom. I always take the picture on the other side of the room where there are no lights so you can get a darker background on the black area here. But that's him. It didn't take too long and he's adorable. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you in the next video. <laughs> take care everyone. Bye now.